Pittsburgh police officers outside his room, one inside guarding him. I go in to give him a passionate kiss, and they tell me not to touch him. Not only was he unable to see his parents on his deathbed, but he was shackled to the bed and paralyzed. After he was shot five times, he was ripped from the car and put on his chest and handcuffed. He's paralyzed and shackled to the bed as if he was going to go anywhere. He was fighting to breathe, let alone try to move. We was planning on going to the fight in Vegas, but we were like, that's not even important right now. Fight here for close to a decade, and Eddie Gomez presented with his first pair of Golden Globes, the winner of the 152-pound Open Division. Four belt tough. There you go. Inked up. It's like right here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Boom. That's the shot. I got hit up here. Hair. You got some fire right here. Oh. Mm. And both my both my lungs collapse. Mm. If they're public servants, they need to be serving the people. Not abusing the people. A federal investigation of Neon Ford's case. Not asking, we are demanding that. We are demanding that all of the charges against Leon be dropped. And never to be spoken of again in our history. We are also demanding that there be an investigation, full-fledged, full-scale, however you want to call it, investigation of the Zone 5 Police Department. And then lastly, we are asking, calling for, demanding, it, and insisting that there be a stop to police brutality in the city of Pittsburgh and all over the planet Earth as it relates particularly to our young black men and in generally to all oppressed people around this world. Leon. I mean, when it's time to reach out and get, get out there to the people that, you know, need the help, we do it. Without a problem, without no question, without thinking twice, without hesitation. I'm trying to have some picture to put myself in that position, but just imagine you in your car and you trying, you, you driving and the motherfucker right next to you just popping at you. Five times, and you live through that? There's no reason to say I can't. I'd rather try my chances with resisting than let these motherfuckers keep me here and put me on, and then put me down, yeah. and then I can't tell you what happened. Exactly. They gonna build a story and say, yo, exactly. he resisted, and we, he, he, he this, he that, exactly. boom. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fighting life, I'm fighting the corrupt system. Exactly. Now, you're facing 20 years. So this is our next battle, to hit it for 20 exactly. years and what have you. I mean, what would be your biggest battle? God forbid, like they, if they win that battle on their side, what would be your your defense in that? Like, I already you know, won. Right. Yeah, because like I said yesterday, you know what I'm saying I'm mentally free. Yeah, bro, I'm ready, man. You, you hype about tomorrow, right? I mean, not even tomorrow, a few hours, man. Now you you basically it's countdown time right now. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, definitely. It, it, it's time uh, to get it cracked, bro. bro. You gonna be up yeah, you know by like five o'clock? Yeah, yeah cause I'm uh, I'm actually gonna be trying to catch this TV show. I did an interview uh, the other day. It's gonna air at six a.m. So I'm gonna catch that. I don't, I don't know if I, if I fall asleep. You know what I mean? That's what it is. But if not, I'll be. Uh, all right, so if anything, I'm gonna hit you up like 4:45, 5 o'clock when you're when we on your side. Yes. 21, 20, both young kings trying to make you no, know, trying to make history. You know what I mean, it's not trying. We gonna make history regardless of situation. People gonna know the story. We getting it out there. We gonna push hard. We on a journey right now. We started this when we met when we FaceTime. That was basically the start to everything. Alright, alright, cause we got like two trucks on our on their way over there right now. And um We the last truck. We going out right now. We leaving like around 11. That's, that's us right here. I was on Instagram and one of my followers had posted a video of him. He was trying to do the pull-ups. And the person didn't know him, 
but it's just off the off the stuff of what he wrote. It was basically saying like a lot of people complain about the small things in life. Wow, this brother's over here. He's he's trying to do the simplest thing, which is doing the pull-ups. And it's it's different with him, off the fact that it's an extra push. Right here. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah. Boom. That's the shot. I got hit up here. Here. His run, his initials, L. Ford against a recently arrested list. It's a presumption that he's guilty. They want him to be somebody he's not. In their mind, they have made this stereotype, this profile, and they said, we're going to make him the profile. Look, how you think it's him when you not looking at the man out of eye? My brother was like, yo, look at this, look at this, look at this, look what they did to this brother, right? I was like, wow, what happened, what happened? He showed me the little footage, what the police did and everything. So it touched my heart. And then just the fact that we knew he was into boxing and when he was young, he was like, look, I'm the next Mike Tyson, I'm the next Mike Tyson. All that touched my heart, man. So, you know, Eddie right here, which, you know, he's always thinking positive and always thinking of helping people. He was like, yo, bro, we need to link up with this brother. We decided right there, like, yo, we coming, we coming down regardless. We're going to tell the guys in the team to come out with us. And you see me on here. Instagram and everything. We saw um, his story and everything, and it really touched our heart. And um, from there on, we've been supporting the brother, you know. I watched his story, and I couldn't help but feel that, you know, that could be my son. I'm not your race, but I have a black son. And to see him in a chair like this would break my heart. Leon was a bright star from the day I met him. But what I know for an actual fact is that is just who he is. He is just a wonderful young man. And the night that I heard about what happened to him, it took my breath away. A lot of you are mentally paralyzed. And that's why I can sit here with my strong man. And I can keep a, a huge smile on my face. I don't, I don't need y'all support. I need y'all to fight with me. I gave Leon my gloves that I fought with. Today ain't about me, it's about him. What the cops did, I don't support. And like I said, I brought my team out, 92 promotions. I'm from New York, we drove about six hours, but that wasn't about nothing, because it's all worth it and it's for a good cause. So we here supporting him. Thank y'all all for coming out. Thank Mom Dukes, Pop Dukes for having us. And just, I want to thank everybody for coming out to support the movement. And we got big things coming for Leon Ford. Let's get it, Justin for Leon, we here. 92 promotions. Uh, Eddie reached out to me on the IG. He left me his number. As soon as I seen the number, I hit him up. You know what I'm saying? And from there, we, we FaceTimed and everything, and it was all love. The, uh, the thing that really touched me is um, I reached out to so many different people um, all, over the, all over the world, man. All, so many different celebrities, and people would hit me back like, yo, your story's crazy, but nobody really went hard and, and tried to help me get my voice heard. And bro, you know what I mean? He, he been pushing for me ever since we met on the ground. Yeah. Just the fact that you took the time out just to be here, like you even, like, he, he said it himself. You just said, like, he reached out to major people and they said, oh, this and this and that. But you actually came and appeared and showed up? That says a whole lot, man. Yeah. That, said, that, that says a whole lot, man. Like, it, it. Yeah, love, yeah. That's all I'm saying. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Uh, uh, all right. Always all got to that love. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, uh. No, no, no. We oh, gonna go after this. Uh, uh, after this, uh, uh, look, look right here, right here. Yeah, boom, got, boom, 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 and then all day, all day, all day. Spent our own money. You heard? Spent some rented cars, hotels. 15 of us is people still texting me, they want to come up. Yeah, yeah that's love, man. Yeah.
brother, he just came from Philly. Oh wow, like what's up, Ock? What's going on? What's good with this movement and all that? Like, yeah. I told him, like, I'm fed up. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? And yeah. it's more so with the shit that they doing to us, but yeah. we got to stand up. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they cause if they see that we not unified, you know, they, they going to want us extinct. You feel okay. what I'm saying? So. Okay. Okay. I'm super happy I can be out here. Happy I can be out here. Since it's the type of shit that I, I live for, recordings, like shooting music videos. Fort Belt Tough. There you go. Inked up. Forward, what would be considered the knockout to you? The knockout to me? Yeah. Uh, the ultimate knockout for me. What would that be? The ultimate knockout. To raise my people up out of this living condition that we're in. Okay. As a whole, ultimately, you know, a, a condition of life, it's, it's a mental thing. You know what I'm saying? It's a, like, for one person, it might be money, another person, it might just be peace, mental. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So when I say I want to elevate people and raise people up and uh, just uh, have people move forward with, with life, you know what I'm saying? It, it's, a, it's all about the mental thing. Like I said yesterday, I'm, I'm paralyzed physically, but not mentally, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people out here, they're paralyzed mentally. They're blind to the fact of the, the aspects of life, the reality of life.